It's time to face them. It's time to face those octolings. Hey everyone, it's Rose Crystal. And we are back with another episode of Splatoon. So now, let's face those octolings. Hold up just a second. I'm trying to get up here. All right, here we go. Got company, Bucko. Octolings ahead. Those scallywags have turned into octopuses and they're winning too. What are those things? Whatever. They're easy prey. I know what they are. I'm not going to be. That person. Dead. <sighs> This inkling is stronger than we thought. Anyway, let's take him out, fellow octolings. You know I'm a girl, right? I have a gender. Where are you? Done. I'm gonna go look for all the octolings. Alright, they're all gone. I checked them out. Alright, that's your speed run for. Octoling Invasion, Kelp Dome Showdown. Wasn't well, technically a speed run, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. Anyway, let's go to course nine, wherever it is. Oh, here it is. Here we go. Unidentified flying object, trouble over Inkopolis. That's an Octo Striker, which just like our valuable ink strikes that you see in game or in Turf Wars, I believe that these they will be able to summon ink strikes just like you. So the Rascal can't target you. This is why we need Ninja Squid, but then they just pick your armor for you when you do story mode. Then again, you really can't do much about it. Cover the air and let him have it, Inkling. Frack! Keep your eyes peeled for looking Octo Troopers, because they will appear in the ink, like that. Done. I cannot risk getting splatted, because then again, if I die, I have to start over the course from the beginning. And nobody wants to do that. Four com five combos. Six. Ooh, I was so close to being splatted. And nobody wants to get splatted on a rainy day. Yeah, if you want to get rid of Octolings easy, just get rid of get one of those if you see them. Alright, boss battle. Octo Striker. If you're wondering why I didn't record in a week, it's because my brother's phone storage is full. And, well, you can't really do anything with the full storage. Alright, let's blow the sucker up. They're not really that big and normally, so it's just for this course. Trust me. If you fight these things, they're not normally that big. It keeps spawning more and more and more and more.
Oh my god, I was like right there in the ink strike, but I didn't get slotted because it was done. They can do that in Turf Wars too. If someone launches an ink strike at you at the final minute, you won't get slotted because the game is over. That's a nice tactic. But it will get you that ink if you summon it the last second. I've used that a lot. Anyway, I would say this is the end of the episode, but I got a special treat for you guys. It's revealed. I'm a nerd. I'm only kidding. Anyway, that special treat for you guys is we're going to be doing a turf war. Yes, a turf war. And you're thinking, this is just speed runs. So we're going to be... I just wanted to throw in like a little turf war thing for us. So I'm just going to join a regular battle on my brother's account. He doesn't care as long as I change back the inkling from a girl to a boy. Doesn't care. Anyway, anybody who's at... Who's on online? Join. Alright, I'm gonna sit back on the chair because I'm focused more when I sit on the couch. Anyway, Port Mackerel, Turf War, Inc. The most turf to win. Let's do this. Yeah, oh yeah, turf wars are all based on if your connection is stable or not. So if you have a better connection, do a turf war. Oh well, wow. Thank you. Alright, so pretty much, the rules are pretty simple. Ink the most turf to win as it's with seen in giant letters. And well, whoever gets the most turf, you have to work together as a team. That's right, a team. Only kidding, I know my team. Is better. So, okay. Uh, killer whale. Come on. No. No. You. We're doing good so far, but they are. All of them are revealed right now, so we have to kill them out as we can. Three down. One to go. You know what would be horrible? If we all had one life, and if we died, it was game over. That would be horrible, because I would suck at that. But then again, we can be constantly respawned, so that way we're fine. Again, tap an alley's position just like you do on the courses. They're super jumped to that player's position. Dead. Wait, wait, I can get someone here. Dang it! They freaking saw that! My teammates saw that one too. If you wonder how I did that, there are two signals you can send up and down your control pad for the Wii U gamepad. Just for those who are new to this stuff. Killer whale! Get away, go! Mm. We're winning right now, but I wouldn't be so cocky because Turf Wars can always go in the enemy's advantage. Always. I have very well been very cocky about winning Turf Wars. And trust me, there are just some battles you can't win. I'm just going to say that right now. Like that one. I've been flattered by this person maybe seven or something times now. If you have ninja squid, those ink ripples will not show up. In fact, they, you will be like a ninja. Literally. Finally. Got some revenge on yous. And they got revenge on me. Game over. But, because we worked as a team, we win. And yes, my level has changed from 26 to 30 because I have been playing non-stop to get that level. Alright. Alright, that is all for this episode. That is why it's longer because I was waiting in turf war. So, um, 
anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give this video a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. See you guys. Oh, I accidentally pressed that. Anyway, I'll see you guys. Goodbye.